What's up, freaks? We're getting set up here for an at-home follow-along workout. All you need for this workout is a single kettlebell, a single resistance band, that if you can get it attached where it's out here at this level. Actually, let's bring this camera over here so you can check it out. We'll move you around a little bit. So if you can get a, it attached to a pole, like you can see here, we have different variations. If you, could, if you have only have one level, that's fine. Do what you gotta do. We're gonna make it happen. We're gonna make it work. So those, those, those different bands and a single kettlebell and a jump rope is all you're gonna need. If you could just quick give me a thumbs up, make sure you can hear me because I'm gonna try and stay attached to this microphone as much as possible. I'll be taking it on and off as I'm moving around for jump rope. But for the band stuff, the kettlebell stuff, I wanna stay on here so I can walk you through it, coach you through it, let you know exactly what we're doing, what we're working on. We're gonna actually start off with some stretching on the floor, on the feet to get rolling. If you have a, any kind of stretch strap, you can use this, but anything will work. Any kind of rope will work. This just happens to give you loops that you could pull into. So we're gonna go here. It's gonna be between the warm up. The cool down, this is going to be a full hour long training session that you can follow along right there at home. You can tag yourself in this. You can do this later on if you're not following live, but if you're available to follow live, follow right along. This is where you start, stop making your excuses and start, stop blaming viruses and all this other shit for not being able to stay in line with your goals, stay on track, stay focused. So if you're having trouble and, you, and there's nowhere to go, nowhere to go for you to work out, send me a private message. We will hook you up. We're still having people sign up to the gym even though the gym is forced to shut down because we're still upping the value and the service and the training that we're delivering so we're going to start off here with this band first can someone just give me a thumbs up let me know you can hear me with this microphone i want to make sure you can hear me before we get rolling so again you just need a single kettlebell a single band and a jump rope and even if you have none of those that's fine if you need to go with a single dumbbell and no band and you could even just go through the air on some of these motions if you had to this is just a kickstart. we're starting a full live online training protocol. All right, so I got a thumbs up, so that means you can hear me. Starting tomorrow, but we said fuck that, we wanna get that started now, so we're gonna get rolling now. So I'm gonna put this, angle this down to the floor where I'm gonna be, and make sure that you could see me. So I'm gonna be down here with this stretch strap. We're gonna go several different stretches. I'm gonna move as far back as I can where you can still hear me. We're putting this around one foot. We're gonna hit all on the same side because we need these hips and legs warmed up for what we're about to do. So I'm flat on my back, this leg is bent, and again, don't forget, Facebook does everything opposite. When you're on Facebook Live, you're gonna see everything reversed. So when I say the right leg, you might be seeing it, like that looks like my left leg on there. So think of it as a mirror. Think about you're facing me and copying me as a mirror. So this is actually your right leg, even though it looks like a left leg. So don't let that confuse you. But stick with the side that I'm saying, not the side you think it is. I'm saying right leg, do your right leg so we can stay on the same pace. So we're gonna start right leg with our left leg bent. Tap it to the floor, and we're just stretching it up, stretching our hamstring for five stretches. And if for whatever reason you're not keeping up pace with me, it's fine. Still just switch when I switch so we're all on the same page. So right away, we're going to straighten the left leg out and keep going the same stretch instead of the left leg being bent. Tap it to the floor, stretch that hamstring up. Just holding it for a second up, second down. We're moving it, getting it ready for the work we're about to do. Just five. Now we're going to hold this up high with our left hand. Our left leg is straight, right leg is straight. We're going to rotate across with our right arm out to the side. Just getting our hips, lower back ready for work. We're just going for five, about five reps. If you're going a little slower, faster than me, that's fine. Just switch when I switch. That's all that matters. It doesn't matter if you only got three in. We're just getting ready to move. All right, we're going to hold this with the right hand. Bend the left leg so it's here bent with the foot flat on the floor. We're coming out to the side, pulling this up and to the side at the same time, bringing it in towards the middle. Now, this is like the boring stuff that we're doing, but it's necessary. It's needed to get your, yourself ready to freaking work out. So don't skip these warm-ups, these stretches. Boom, right here. Now we're gonna cross our right leg over our left, pull this right here, and we're just pulling back here. If you can't see, we're just crossing here, pulling this back while this leg is also pulling back, stretching this right glute and hip. Done, right there, just about five each. Switching it right over to the left foot. Switch to the left side, same thing. Right leg stays straight, or sorry, right leg is bent, left leg is straight, and we're just tapping the heel to the floor, stretching up. Your head should be on the floor. If you see my neck up, it's just so I can see you and make sure that I can see the camera myself. So tap the heel to the floor, Stretch it up, tap the heel, stretch it. We're just going for five, now straighten the right leg out and keep going. Whew. Make sure you're breathing out. Exhale when you go into that stretch. We're doing active dynamic stretching, just getting your body ready to freaking work. Stretch it up there. Now we're gonna hold it up high with the right hand, straighten the, the right leg out on the, the, the bottom, straighten the left leg out, so my left leg here, rotate it across. My left arm is out to the side, rotate across. Whew. Stretching that outer hip, glute, lower back. And bend the right leg, hold this with the left, with the left hand, left leg is straight, and now we're coming out to the side. Inner thigh, 
groin, hip, getting it opened up, getting it loosened up. <sighs> pulling it out to the side and pulling it up at the same time, as far as you can comfortably. Getting the legs ready to move, ready to work. <sighs> and cross the right leg over left, pull the strap, and just pull this back in this cross leg stretch. About five times. <sighs> We're gonna get some standing leg stretches in a second, but first, go to your band. You're gonna to go to your band that you have attached. I'm gonna straighten this camera out so you can still stay tuned and stay focused. So we're gonna angle this a little bit, move the camera around so you can always follow me. So again, these bands are on a pole. Starting with just a medium band. This is just a yellow. We're gonna start simple, basic, just a chest press. Our feet are straight across from each other and we're just pressing this forward. We're gonna go about 10 each side where, not me, where, gonna go about 10 each side. Are you just gonna watch me? We're gonna go about 10 each side, chest press. Now, if when I say switch, you're only on eight or nine, or maybe you're on 10 or 15, you're going fast enough, that's fine. Just switch when I switch so we can stay on the same pace. Stay with each other, especially if you're following along live. Breathe out when you push forward, in through the nose, coming back. Switch right over to the left arm. Left elbow up and out, 90 degrees. Just getting this chest, shoulder, tricep all warmed up. Your left arm pushing forward. Just a single arm chest press, simple stuff. Just getting the body ready to start moving. To moving some kettlebell. We're gonna make some more dynamic band movement in during the set. And flip around for a row. Palm is in and just pulling this straight back to your ribs. Just about 10 each side. Breathe out as you pull it back. In through the nose, forward. Can't even see you, just see your head. Angle towards me. Pull the hand to your rib. The thing about this, you're doing this stuff at home. You can have your kids follow you along with a peak freak workout as long as you don't mind if we accidentally slip out maybe a bad word or two, but they know better than not to say that, right? So it's over to your left arm. <sighs> Pull it back. Rip it back. <sighs> Exhale as you bring it back. In through the nose going forward. All these movements, I'm trying to keep this wire attached. This is the microphone so you can hear me. Sometimes I may need to unattach it, especially when I go to do the jump rope back there once we get to the real rounds. Right now, we're just warming up, getting the body flowing. All right, we're gonna go single arm chest fly. So get the band out to your side and just squeeze it into the center. That's it. <sighs> See, I'm as if I was bringing two hands together. That's all I'm doing. So this is like an extension of my arm. <sighs> Squeezing that right side of my chest. My shoulder getting pumped up. At the same time, my legs are planted. Core is getting warmed up because it's trying to pull me to the side. So it's getting your whole entire body warmed up, moving, ready to freaking rock and roll. <sighs> it's gonna be anywhere eight to 10. Not a big deal how many. Switch it over, flip around, left side. So we're just coming in towards the center of the body. Where's your kettlebell, Tyson? We're gonna go right arm pullover, kettlebell. Right arm pullover, straight out in front of you and just pulling this down to the side of your leg. Pulling over with your lat, your tricep, brace your freaking abs. I'm gonna try and check periodically, see if there's any comments here. If you have any comments, questions, put them down below. Let's talk about it. We're just getting flowing. We're gonna do a full workout in here. Between the warm up, the workout, the cool down, we're gonna get a full entire training session in. Rip it down. It's going about eight to 10. Get that flow, get that rhythm, breathe it out. All right, right arm, arm up, palm up, going to bicep curl, hand comes to your ear. Whenever I'm looking to the side, you don't wanna be on that technique. I'm going out of position just to take a look to make sure I'm fitting the screen, make sure you can see me. And so I can see you even though you're not there, but I'm still looking at you, I'm watching you. Don't fuck around, don't screw around, don't try to hide in the corner of your living room, eat them Cheetos on the couch, get your ass up and get to work. Left arm, <sighs> bicep curl. <sighs> <sighs> Breathe it out, squeeze it, squeeze it. Pump up the gut, curls for the girls. <sighs> so it's right to the right arm, you're gonna lean over at the waist, elbow stuck into your side, you're gonna kick back for a tricep extension. So your elbow does not leave your side, bend, and extend, bend and extend. Rip it back, squeeze the back of your arm, tricep. <sighs> Exhale when you're pushing back. In through your nose as you're bending it forward. <sighs> Stand up straight, just get out of that position. Let's go left arm, kick it back. <sighs> See, I'm bending here with tension, <sighs> extending out, squeezing the back of the arm, tricep. Just getting the body ready, getting ready to move and work. We got a shitload of work ahead of us with minimum amount of equipment, minimum amount of space needed, even if you don't have space for a jump rope. Doesn't matter. You'll figure it out, you'll adapt and overcome. So we're just gonna stretch those out, stretch those shoulders out. Fling the chest open, catch it for a stretch. Fling it open, catch it for a stretch. Fling it, Whew. fling it. 
right into a quad stretch, alternating quad stretch. We gotta get those legs ready to move. Hold it for just one to three seconds each, whatever you need to. Make sure the leg you're standing on stays slightly bent. Stand up tall, your head is up. Oh yeah, legs are sore. We've been training hard these last few weeks. We are freaking sore, but that's not an excuse to not get shit done, to not keep working, to keep pushing yourself hard. You'll take a rest when you're freaking dead. That's when you take a break. There's no time. There's no time for viruses and all this other bullshit. There's time for freaking work. Stretch it out, whatever you need to do. Touch your toes. Touch the floor, fling the chest open. Touch the floor again. Arms overhead. A couple more times each. Get those hamstrings lower back to the bottom. Fling, chest fling open. Open up that upper back and chest. Breathe it out. Fling it open. All right, so here's how it's gonna go. We're getting nice and warmed up. We're getting rolling. It's gonna adjust this. Well, we're gonna leave the bands at, at, in between these rounds. So you're gonna be on a kettlebell set, a band set, another kettlebell set, jump rope. That's gonna be the circuit. I'll, you'll, you'll follow along, you'll see exactly how this is gonna go. So we're gonna start with our kettlebell. We're gonna start with our kettlebell. It's the first round. So if you have multiple weights of kettlebells, start with a lighter kettlebell before we get to a heavy one. So if you have multiple weights, if not, you'll just use whatever you have, whatever you got, doesn't matter. As you get rolling, if you can, you'll get some more options, some more weights. It's gonna shift this a little bit. Look we'll at your kettlebell. So we're gonna start with a kettlebell exercise. It's gonna be just a double arm swing. What's up, Teodori? Adam, freak, project freak. We're getting in. The world is quarantined, but that's not an excuse to bust your freaking ass and get shit done, make things happen, and keep working towards your goals. Your, your goals, the fat on your body, the goals you have in the future, your future grandkids do not give a shit that there's a virus today. His kids, his future kids, that one day are not even in existence yet, his kids do not give a shit that there's some virus going on. They don't care. It doesn't matter. That means we have to do what we have to do today. In this moment that we have control of, to make that day come, make that day come, and make that day come successful with freaking thunder. So we're bringing the thunder today. We're going to start with our kettlebell. Simple to get things started, just a double arm kettlebell swing. I'll try to back up some without ripping this wire out of my face. I'll rip your face off your freaking face, boy. You like that saying? Let's do it. Double arm swing at the hips, whipping it up. I'm just going to angle here so you can kind of see it and I don't choke myself with this mic. Squeeze the glutes as you bring it up. We're bringing it up just about shoulder chest level. We don't need to go all the way overhead. Snap it. Don't worry about the reps. You're just gonna go for the time that we're doing this here. It's gonna be anywhere 10, 15, 20 reps, depending on the exercise, doesn't matter. Whip it, snap, snap your hips. Just double arm swing to get things going with your lighter weight. You should be a joke right now because you're just still getting warmed up. Do not worry about the reps, we're going for time. Keep rolling, keep working. Snap it. We're gonna go right to a band, a band punch. So you're gonna grab this band with your right hand, your right leg back your left leg forward, and you're just gonna snap this full speed, more dynamic than we did in the warm-up. So, pivoting your right foot. Snap forward. Pivot that right foot. Try to step back a little further. You can see I'm turning this right hip and right foot. Flip it around for the left arm. Left leg goes back, right leg goes forward, and Snap. Pivot the left foot. With that resistance. That right hand stays up, protecting your face. If you're ugly like me, you need to keep those hands up because you can't take much more damage to your ugly face. Pivot that left foot. Time. So we're going back to the kettlebell. We're going to do a bodyweight exercise into the same kettlebell exercise we did, which was a double arm swing. So you're gonna put this kettlebell down in between your feet. It's down here. Don't know if you can see it, I'm a little too, too close, but it's right here in between my feet. I'm gonna do a squat thrust. Come up and hit two kettlebell swings. So down, out, in, up, and snap for two swings. I'll go to an angle. So squat thrusting back, watch out, it's an angle. Two swings. Squat thrust down, two swings, whip it. Squat down, jump your feet back, jump in, Two double arm swings. See, we just added a body weight, a squat thrust exercise to the kettlebell exercise we already did. One squat thrust, two swings. Non-stop, keep rolling. 
Just getting the heart rate up, getting the blood flowing. Still with your lighter weight if you have it, or whatever weight you have. It's just the first round. Snap those hips on the swing. Whip it, whip it, pinch your butt together. Squeeze the butt cheeks. Whip it up. One more. Time. I'm gonna unhook the mic. We're gonna go on a jump rope set. Just 30 jumps on the jump rope. If you don't have a jump rope, you could just do an imaginary jump rope. We're gonna step back there. You'll still be able to see us. It's gonna take the mic off. So we can run over there for the jump rope. 30 jumps or whatever time it takes us. Come on, freak. 30 jumps. So it's just 30 jumps. 30 jumps, you're going right back around to the first exercise, which is double arm swings. So snap those hips. Just first round, the first exercise. This kettlebell exercise is gonna change throughout the round. The band rounds will change the next set, but right now it's the same. We're just gonna mix up the third set, which had the squat thrust to the kettlebell swing. We're gonna do a crawl out, push up kettlebell swing instead. Everything else this round is gonna stay the same. Snap the hips. And push yourself on these. Even though it's lighter weight, we didn't even get to real weight yet. Push yourself. Push the pace. Get your heart rate up. Squeeze the glutes. Tighten up the core. Done. Band. Sticking with those punches. Those forward punches. Snap the hips. Let's do it. Palm in. Pivot the right foot. We're more getting more warmed up. Start picking up the pace. Switch sides, left arm, left leg back. Kettlebell exercise is gonna stay the same, double arm swing, except we're gonna do a crawl out. Tyson, back up so they can see you on a crawl. Just do a crawl out first. I'm not sure if they can see me. Oh, they actually can see me. So the kettlebell is in between my feet. My feet are wide. I'm gonna crawl out to a push up position. Can you still see me? I'm gonna do two push ups. Crawl back in, hit my kettlebell exercise, which was those two swings. So I'm crawling out, push up position. Two push ups when I'm down here. <sighs> crawl the hands back in, the feet stay in place. Two swings. Trying to back up, make sure you can see my feet. See where I'm at. Tyson, go up to the camera and just take a quick look. See if you can see me when I'm doing the push ups and the crawl out. I can't see from here. Stay there for a full rep. <sighs> There's my two swings. Crawl out, push. That's all right. They get the movement down. You can see what the push-up is. So you're crawling out your hands. Push-up position. Two push-ups. Crawl back in. Step down my mic. We'll keep rolling. Figure it out. Adapt, overcome. Two swings. Crawl out. Why would you go in front of me, Tyson? Back up. Where you were. Two swings, crawl out push-up position, two full push-ups, that's your chest to the floor, extend your arms, crawl in, two swings. Let's go one more. Hands crawling out, two push, crawl in, two double arm swing. Jump rope set, we're adding 10 on. We did 30 the first set, we're going to 40. So we're gonna run back there, we're gonna switch jump ropes, we have a weighted jump rope and a regular jump rope, switch jump ropes. 40 jump. All right, so now we're gonna switch up 
That was 40 jumps. I got whipped with someone's jump rope, but that's all right. So now we're gonna switch up our kettlebell exercise. We're going to single arm swings, just single arm. Right arm only for this entire half, first half of the set, we're gonna switch halfway through. So right arm swing, whip it up. Snap the hips. And switch to the left arm. So it's gonna be a little longer of a set because we got single arm. Breathe it out, whip it up. Speed of your breathing, some massive speed of your movements. Burst it up there. A little burst of air. And time, band set coming up. It's gonna be a reverse punch. So your feet squared, your palm at your face in the band this time, your palm is to the floor. I'm gonna pull this into my rib while I twist the wrist and turn my body 180 degrees at a fast pace. Switch arms. Just switching to try and watch this mic. So I'm turning, 90 degree turn, pivoting the opposite foot of the side you're twisting. Breathe it out. Going back to the kettlebell, which is the single arm swing, and back to the original body weight exercise. So it's squat thrust to single arm swing. Two swings. We'll alternate, so check this out. Squat thrust, two right arm single arm swing. Squat thrust, what do you think is next? Two left, arm. two left arm single arm swing. If he can figure it out, there's no excuse for you not to figure this shit out. Squat thrust, down, out, go at your own pace. Push the pace now. If you're not getting heated up and warmed up, you're doing something wrong, because I'm already sweating. Whip it. Down, out, in, up, and swing. Squat thrust, two single arm swings. Use a kettlebell for this if you have, or a dumbbell if you have to. The band set, you could just do air, in the air. Fast movements. Jump rope set, you don't have a jump rope? Imaginary jump rope, but get these pieces of equipment if you don't have them. We will get you through this freaking quarantine stuff without making you go crazy, without letting your metabolism slow, without getting all dark and gloomy and depressed. Stuck in your fucking cave. Let's go. One more. Snap the hips. Did we skip something there? No. We just no. get the jump rope set? We did. After the band set, we're supposed to go to jump rope. No. We screwed that up. We're on the second set of kettlebell. Oh no, we're good. Jump rope. Jump rope's coming up. You're right. Jump rope's coming up for 50 jumps. And we are switching weights. You got the regular? I got the heavy. Stay away from me, boy. 50 jumps. Actually, I can get closer. So we're going 50 jumps here. We're adding 10 on every time. Weighted jump rope, regular jump rope, whatever you have. This is a weighted jump rope. Time. If you've been following the trend, you should know exactly how this next round is going to go. Back to the original kettlebell exercise. Single arm swings. We're going to do our left arm first this time. Then the band set, the reverse punch. Then the body weight to kettlebell set, which is the body weight. We're going to, what's the body weight exercise this round going to be? What crawl. Was, crawl out. Look at that. He's got it. We did it one time. He remembers it. So it'll be crawl out to push up to two single arm swings. We'll just keep rotating through that. Switching up the kettlebell exercise. And all same between those body weight sets. Switch arm, right arm. Snap the hips. Breathe it out, burst. Tighten up those abs or you're gonna get kicked in the gut every time you come up. Stiff as a freaking board, tight body. Head to toe. Stand up tall. Built for freaking war. Because the invasion's coming. I've been telling you the invasion's coming. It's fucking here, partner. Band, reverse punch. 
So it's the exact opposite movement of a punch. Palm starts facing down. Going left arm first this time. We did left arm first in the kettlebell. Rip it in, right arm over the top for a block while you pivot the right foot. Quick, pump it out. Switch sides. Your feet stay the same, your feet are squared up. Now you're pulling with the right arm, pivot with the left foot. Turn 90 degrees to your right. Back to the kettlebell, which is single arm swings. We're switching out the squat thrust for the crawl out, adding in two push ups. So I'll get back here so you can see it. Back up so you don't hit me. So it's crawl out, two push ups, and two single arm swings, right arm. Crawl out, two push ups. Bring it in, two single arm swings, left arm. Crawl out, push. Two swings right. Two push. Left arm, snap those hips, squeeze the glutes. Two solid push ups when you're out there. Chest down to the floor. Quick hands coming in. Whip it. One more on the left. Or whatever side you're on, just keep going. To the jump rope. We are adding 10 every single set. We're going to 60 on the jump rope. We have a weighted jump rope and a regular. So we're gonna switch the weights. I'm on regular on weighted. Enjoy. 60 jumps. I'm weighted. Oh, there it is. There. 60 jumps. Go for speed, push the pace here. Get your heart rate up. Switch up the exercises. You should be getting warmed up. If you're not sweating by now, you are doing something wrong. Under here is soaked. Just in this basic stuff. It's all about how you push yourself. Let's get this mic back on. All we're doing is turning the top, switching the kettlebell exercise. We're gonna do a kettlebell clean. Just this bottom half. Also gonna bump up the weight if you're warmed up. So we're going up to a heavier kettlebell. So clean his bottom, just to right here, to this shoulder rack. It's resting in this triangle. Pulling it up like you're pulling a zipper straight up your chest. Let's do it. Whip it up. Zero impact. Switch when I switch, no matter what number you're on, doesn't matter. Just get to work. <sighs> Trying to get about 10, 12, 15, whatever. Switch to the left arm. It's gonna angle here, so you can see it. Ooh, and make sure you don't fuck up the mic or the watch. Single arm, clean. <sighs> Whip it up. <sighs> left arm. Over to our band. We're gonna do a trunk twist with a pivot. So we're gonna start facing the pole. I'm gonna back. Oh, that ain't gonna work. Almost knocked you over by pulling this wire. So you're pivoting your feet and your hips. Tyson, back up over here so they can see your feet without the band. Just how the pivot should be. So I'm starting to the side right here. Back up a little more so they can see your feet. As I'm turning, I'm pivoting my feet. So I'm here, snap across, pivot. When I reach to the left, my right foot is pivoting. When I'm coming into the right, my left is pivoting, so I'm gonna pivot. 
Back up a little more so you can see your feet. Back up. Here? Yeah, go. See his feet? When he reaches to the right, left foot pivots. When he reaches to the left, right foot pivots. So we're going to start either side. I don't care what side you start on because I don't want you to get caught up on that. Just worry about reaching to one side, snap it across. You don't, have, you don't have a band, pick up a medicine ball or a kettlebell. Just rotate side to side. Do what you have to do. Adapt and overcome. Figure out a way. Stop making excuses. Oh, but I don't have equipment. I don't have any space. I don't have any time. I call bullshit, bullshit, and bullshit. Especially now the whole freaking world is shut down. Your kids are at home. Have them do this stuff with you. Start leading by example. Lead with your action. Leadership by action. Your kids usually are not going to do what you say. But I tell you what, they will do what you do. And flip around, whatever side you didn't do. It's gonna back up a little bit so I don't rip the mic. Pivot. Whatever side you're reaching to, the opposite foot pivots. So I'm picking up the pace as you get a feel for it. Snap. With some speed. All right. We're on the clean with the first body weight exercise. What was the first body weight exercise? Squat thrust. There's Adam again, one of our favorite Canadians. First Canadian to graduate the project just this last week. So we got squat, squat thrust with the kettlebell clean. So we are down, out, in, just one clean. All we're doing is just one. The swings we did two, everything else we don't need to do more. And just one, whip it. Right back down, flow. Push the pace on this. And I try to keep up with this little shit, and he's blowing me away. I can't keep up with this kid. He's already like two reps ahead of me. If I try to go any faster, I'll lose my technique. Do not go any faster than perfect. This little freak next to me can go fast and not lose technique. Keep your technique, keep your control, be in competition. Everything is a competition in life. You should make everything a competition. But the first person you should worry about being in competition with yourself is with yourself, with yourself from yesterday. Today, you should always be able to say, I'm better than I was yesterday, but I am not good enough for tomorrow. That's what you should be thinking in your head. Whip it. Squat thrust clean. Heavier kettlebell if you can. Squat down. Let's jump back. In. And whip. Time. Going back for our jump rope. We're up to what? How many on the jump rope? 70. Up to Where 70. Oh. No, we did bands right before that. Twist. So we're on 70 on the jump rope. And if you're getting hot like me, start stripping. Let's go, jump rope. Right. Don't wait for me. Okay. I'm on the weighted one this round. <laughs> 70. 70 on the jump rope. And 10 every single set. Seventy. We're on our sixth, second round with the kettlebell clean. This time, bodyweight exercise is what? Crawl out. With? Push-up. Crawl out with two push-ups. So start first, kettlebell clean. Let's whip it up there. You know what? You start with right arm, left arm. Whatever you left off on, I don't really even care. Whip it up. Just the clean. Try to back up a little bit so you can see a little better. Whip it up. Right up the center of your chest. You can pull in the zipper up. Use explosiveness, speed, momentum. Get it up there. Snap it. Get over here and do it. Another free coming to join us. Doing our own nut job work. Just gotta turn it this way so I don't crush the mic. Whip it up. Switch arms. If I didn't say it. I did it, but didn't say it. Whip it. Legs, hips. Explode that way up there. Right into that shoulder rack. Get 
If you have heavy weight, challenge yourself. Don't be a little punk. Back to the band. Trunk twist with a pivot. Remember, pivot the freaking feet on this one. Next round will be no pivot. So whatever side you're reaching, out with full speed. Snap, resist, snap, resist. Turn 180 degrees, pivoting your feet. Whole face follows your chest. From the pole to away from the pole. Push the pace. Did we do this last round? We did both. Switch. Other direction. Snap out, resist in. Whip the hips. Open those hips up. This is powered by your legs, your waist, your obliques. Your arms are just going along for the ride. It's like me throwing punches in boxing, which we will even, we'll be doing in-home boxing workouts also. If you have a heavy bag, use it. If you don't, you want to invest in one, go buy one. We got you. We're going to hook you up through this virus. Bullshit. Second set. What do we got? Second round. Crawl, Crawl out, push up, kettlebell clean. So it's in between your feet. I'm going to back up here. Back up so you can go behind me. So I'm crawling out. Push up position. Two push ups. Crawl in. Kettlebell clean. We're going to go two cleans because this takes a little longer in exercise. The crawl out takes longer. Two push up. Crawl in. And two left arm cleans. Crawl it out. I don't know if you can see me there. Two push up. But you know what it is. So I want to rip the mic out. Whip it up. Crawl out. Two push. Crawl back in. Two left arm clean. Whip it up. Crawl it out. All the way out. Push up position. Abs are strong. Stiff as a freaking board. Work on your chest, your toes, your tries. Your core. Two cleans. Whip it up there. Push the pace. Challenge yourself. Snap it up. You don't have to stay in pace with me. If you can go faster. We're keeping it a good, decent pace here for you. But if you can go faster, go faster. I'm trying not to go too fast. So we can keep the technique. And I can talk you through it. Once you have it down, just attack. Attack that shit. Attack the hills in your freaking life. Attack the adversity. Do an extra kick clean if you need to. Call out there. Two pushes. Call it in. Whip it. One more. One more. Call it out. Yes. Two push. In and two clean. Whipping the mic. We're back to jump rope. How many jump ropes, Tyson? 90. I think 80, right? Yeah, Up to 80. 80 jumps. I'm on the regular this round. I weight less. <sighs> 80 jumps. As fast as you can. If you trip up, who cares? Keep going. It's gonna happen. So listen, if you're not doing this live along with us and following along, you can pause that video to get whatever reps you need to get in. You can pause that video to get your 80 jumps in. We are switching up our kettlebell exercise. We are going to, how much time, what time we have so far? Ooh, we're going to kettlebell snatches. Kettlebell snatches, that's from the bottom to the top in one shot. So the clean was just here. We're now here and Punching it up in one snap, one count. Not a clean to a press. It's a snatch. Whoom! Exploding up. One of my favorite movements. Total body explosiveness, strength, working your muscles, endurance, cardio. Your heart rate will get pumped. Let's do it. Right arm, kettlebell, snatch. Bottom whoosh, to the top. One shot. Straight down. Boom! Explode. Challenge yourself with a heavier weight if you have it. You good? Your neck? Don't do it overhead if you got. If you want to do a band, do a band shoulder press instead. He screwed up his neck. 
in jujitsu. So now we both have screw up necks. So sometimes explosive overhead movements can strain your neck or just stick to a clean if you want, that'll work. Yeah, clean. So he's just modifying. Always a way to do it. Always a way to make it happen. Shit, I have to modify stuff all the time. Like a jumping lunge sometimes doesn't feel good on my knees. I'll modify, do a reverse lunge or a step up or a jumping step up. There's no shame. Switch arms. Other arm for a snatch. Whip it up there. Explode. Microphone's whipping all over the place. It's gonna snap off. It's gonna send the camera flying, but screw it. All part of the game. Done. Right to the band. I'm gonna do a trunk twist this time, but with no pivot. So it's less total body, but more localized in your waist. So I'm gonna step. Ah. No pivot in my feet. So my feet are planted. I'm still getting a 180 degree twist. Since my feet are not pivoting this time, so different than last time. Same speed, just digging more in the waist, in the abs, in the obliques. Head up, chest out, shoulders back. 180 degrees of movement. Out with some speed. Resist in. Speed. Resist in. And flip it around. Whip it. Squat thrust with the snatch coming up. So the kettlebell with the bodyweight exercise. Squat thrust with the snatch coming up. Let's do it. The weight in between your feet. It's right here, the kettlebell's here. In between my feet, jump back, jump in. One right arm snatch, that's it. Squat thrust, down, out, in, and left arm snatch. Squat thrust, right arm snatch. This movement right here is killer. It is freaking awesome. Squat thrust to single arm snatch. Freaking awesome stuff right here. Working so many different parts of your body, energy system, and I actually feel some rain. It's gonna feel good. Yeah. Cool us off, because you should be working. Whip it. Jump rope. We are up to 90. We're switching ropes from the heavy and the light. Go to jump rope. 90 jumps. We are rolling. Are you going to do this one crisscross? Camera? Crisscross. Are you going to do crisscross? Tyson said he wants to try crisscrossing. And asked me if I want to do it. I can't do the crap you do. Give it a shot. I cannot do that. So that was 90 jumps. This little freak show is over here doing some crisscross. I can't do that shit, I'm too clumsy for that. I don't know how the hell he figured that out. Going back to the beginning, just the kettlebell snatch by itself. Kettlebell snatch. Let's do it, pick an arm, any arm, and whip that sucker in the air. Whip it. Challenge yourself with the speed, with the weight, with the pace you're going. Switch arms. Get about snatch second arm. Whip it. 
Whip it up there. Over to the band. Trunk twist, no pivot. Feet stay in place. Trunk twist, no pivot. Let's rock. Boom, snap. Dig in your waist. Dig in your abs. Solid gut. Obliques. Side of your waist. Lats. Chest out. Bend in the elbow. Boom. Switch. Flip sides. Whip it. Squeeze. In the waist. In the ass. Time. Bodyweight exercise with the snatch. So we got crawl out, two push ups, one right arm snatch. Crawl out, two push ups, one left arm snatch. Let's rock. So crawl in the weight starts in between your feet. Crawl out to the push up position. Two pushes. Crawl in, explode, right arm snatch. Crawl out. Two push, crawl in, left arm snatch, crawl out, two push, right arm snatch, push, left, whip that hips, get your whole body into explode with your legs on that snatch, one more. And left arm, boom. Jump rope for 100. Last set of jump rope. And then we just have a finisher round on the kettlebell. Daisy Fuentes, thank you for making this public. This is what we're trying to do. It's trying to help all you freaks not go crazy out there. Because once you start going crazy and people start losing their minds, bad things happen. So try your crisscross. Hi, should I try your crisscross? Sure. Oh, I did it. Oh! I just whipped myself in the ass. So don't try crisscross if you know you're not coordinated for that shit, or else you're gonna get whipped in the ass. Unless maybe you're into that kind of shit, then try the crisscross and whip yourself in the ass. I'm gonna stick. Regular, regular jump rope. So that was our final set of jump rope. That was 100 jumps. We're gonna go with a burnout round. I don't care, I gotta like dip down here to see with my big cone head. Burnout round, you don't have to dip down. Burnout round of kettlebells. What we're gonna do is go, all the exercises we did, reverse order, because we did them from easiest to hardest. So now we're gonna do just the kettlebell exercise for one round, hardest to easiest. So we're gonna start with the snatch. Each arm, 10 each arm. Then we're gonna hit the clean, 10 each arm. Single arm swing, 10 each arm, and double arm swing for 10 to finish off. Actually, you know what? We didn't do clean to press in that round, but we're gonna add it this round, just to make this round a little bit longer, a little more of a burnout. So we're gonna start with the snatch. 10 per arm. Challenge yourself with this freaking weight. We're burning out here, this is it. So snatch, 10 each arm. Don't do it if your neck is screwed up, Tice. Right just do clean. For, just do clean for all these rounds. Or if you wanna go overhead, use a band for that overhead set. It's like a band shoulder press. Snatch, Whoosh. know your body, have some self-awareness. You're not being tough in your regular workouts by making something worse, you're being stupid. There's a time and a place where you gotta tough it out. You gotta know the time and the place. Pick and choose your freaking battles. Whip it, Whoosh. and I'm yapping, I lost my count. 
We'll say that was six. I don't even know. <laughs> so I have a new battle. Here it comes. Ten. Boom. Ten on switch sides. Ten. Back up so you can see it a little more. Whip it up there. Snap. Explode. Kettlebell snatch. One count. Boom. That's six. Good. He can keep count because I'm busy babbling to you freaks. Tell me when, kid. Good. We're going to go clean to press. We didn't do this in the other rounds. So it's clean, flip, dip, press. So we're going up in a two count instead of a one count to snatch at. 10 each arm. That was one. Two. So. Just do clean. Don't do the press. Let's do an extra set of cleans. So flip, dip, snap. Dip, flip, dip. Boom. Separate explosions. Two movements, two breaths. Snap that shit in the air. Damn it. No clue where I'm at. I'm at nine. Bull crap. Well, yours goes faster than mine. I'll do two more. It's all about work. It's all about time. I don't even get you what number you're on. Just get to work. Switch arms. Clean to press. If you're not breathing heavy, you're doing something wrong. Because I'm sweating here. Dripping sweat. And it's cool outside. Flip. Dip. Flip, dip, snap. Six. Last one. Boom. Right away, you're not putting that weight down. Right away to the first arm. Just the bottom half, the clean. Down, boom, the shoulder rack. Whip it. Whoosh. Strong grip. Little flow with your body. Explode. Whew. Damn, I lost count already. I have the attention span of a doorknob. Because I'm Four busy. Five, now six. You sure about that? Yeah. Whew. Seven? Uh -huh. Eight? Yeah. Whew. Good thing these kids here to count for me. It ain't happening. Whip it. One more. Single arm swing, right arm. Snap those hips. Hinge at the hips. Sorry if I'm breathing and spitting in your ear because this microphone's right there and I'm doing all this stuff. But that's part of the game. Left arm swing. Almost there. And double arm swing finishes the circuit. Burnout kettlebell circuit. And just for fun, we're gonna finish with another set of 100 on the jump rope to finish the burnout. And we're gonna come back here and stretch and chat for a bit. 100 jump ropes. I'm on regular, sucker. Burn this out. Sprint out this last set of jump rope. If you don't have a jump rope, do a freaking pretend jump rope. If you don't have a jump rope, get one. If you don't know how to jump rope, keep practicing it. As long as you have no problems jumping, your feet only need to come off the ground this much on the balls of your feet. Great cardio tool anywhere to mix in to any circuit. 100 jumps.
that was 100 for me. He's about to hit his 60, or he's at 60. Let's hit a couple stretches right off the bat. The second you finish these workouts, the second you finish the workout, get Mike back up. The recovery process starts right a freaking way. So right off the bat, the stretch that we did in the beginning, where we were kind of moving, active, dynamic, we we're flinging our shoulders and all that stuff. Right now we're gonna do the same stretch. We're just gonna hold it. Whatever, 10, 15, 20 seconds. Hold that stretch in your shoulders. A lot of that overhead stuff, kettlebell stuff, grip stuff. Fling it open, stretch that other side, hold it. Pice come join me for the stretch. Recovery process starts now. Hydrate yourself right away. Big forward circles, loosen up those shoulders. Because listen, deep in those. During this time, shit's crazy. You need to focus now more than freaking ever on your health, your fitness, your nutrition, your hydration, your immune system. This time more than ever. This is not the time to start backing up and retracting. Let the rest, let the rest of the world retract and run away while you are the fucking hero in your story, hero in your life, the leader of your freaking family, the leader of everyone around you, and you're expanding. You're going forward. You're progressing while everyone else is going backwards. Do not follow the sheep. Now, we're not saying be stupid. Still be smart about it, but don't follow the freaking sheep. Everyone else is running away from the gunfire. You run towards the gunfire. Everyone else is going to hide in the corner, dark, depressed, lonely in their house. Not you. This time, right now, more than ever, the people around you, your fucking family, they need you to step up as a freaking leader. They don't need you coming on social media, bitching and whining and complaining. They need you to step up and lead. Step up and be a parent. Step up and be a mentor, a guide, a coach, a teacher, whatever you are, a freaking human. This is the time. The time is now for you to step up. Quit that bullshit. You realize how easy your life was before. And you start appreciating it now that some shit's taken away from you. And you start appreciating it. So hopefully once it goes back to those good times, hopefully you appreciate it and you're not like whining and bitching about the stupidest little shit that I see here on Facebook. Whining about so much traffic going to work and all this other stuff. Whining about a flat tire on your car. That's the worst thing that happens to you in your day. Fucking lucky you. Use this as a time to reflect and appreciate the, the shit that you used to think was such a bad day when times are so good, when times are comfortable. Comfort, times of comfort create weakness. Times of comfort create softness. Times of comfort create soft human, create soft men. So I'm challenging you to step up right now. Be the freaking leader of your team. Be the leader of your family. And it starts with leading yourself, having some self-discipline, starting with your own fitness, your own nutrition, teaching them the way to do it now, teach them how to re respond to situations like this, not to react. That's what you need to teach your family. Leadership by example, leadership by action, by the way you operate, the way you respond to things. Let that be how you teach your kids, your family, your, your clients, your team, your staff. Not by bitching and moaning and complaining about everything. So the world is shut down. All businesses are shut down. It's happening to everyone. You're not a unique snowflake. It didn't only happen just to you. It's not boo-hoo, poor little you. It's everyone. Deal with it. Adapt. Overcome. Make shit happen. Step up. We will see here. We will be here with you every step of the way, helping you stay fit, stay healthy, keep your freaking sanity, because it all starts up here. Managing your own freaking mind, your own thoughts. That's where it all freaking starts. And then your body. Then the rest of the stuff takes care of itself. It starts your own self-discipline. Maintain your freaking discipline. Your exercise juice discipline, your nutritional discipline. Boost your freaking immune system all the time. Not just after the horses ran out of the barn, you close the freaking door, it's too late. Yeah, horses, barn. Anyway, if you have any questions, comments about this workout, if you follow along with me, or if you're going to do it later, send me a picture, send me a screenshot that you completed. Hold yourself accountable, and I will hold you accountable. And if you need some help to stay focused with your nutrition, your workouts, your discipline, send me a private message, send me an email, comment below this video, and we will help you out and hook you up through these fucked up times and help you stay focused, stay healthy, stay strong. You're going to come on the other end of this freaking bullshit, stronger, leaner, healthier, fitter, faster more positive than ever. Find the freaking opportunity of every obstacle. Find the opportunity in every problem, in every roadblock. Smash through the fucking roadblock. Attack the fucking hill. You are freaking awesome. I will talk to you later. Tyson, anything you want to tell him?
Very, very normal child. I can't imagine where he gets it from. I will talk to you later. You are fucking awesome. No excuses.